everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my home what are we going to chat about tonight we're going to sit and chat a little bit about what a fully stocked pantry slash stockpile is so of course mine must be fully stocked with some mini m m's i think that's priority i'm just saying i'm just saying as jan from new york city would say got to have those mini m m's for those times when you just need to stress out and have some m m's but on a serious note, what is a fully stocked pantry slash stockpile? Okay, as you saw, I put in a few pictures and uh, gave you an idea of some of the things that I have. I, if you saw my videos a week or so back, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I have moved my stockpile. I had it in a closet. I needed the closet for storage space, for brooms and vacuums and things like that. I only have one closet in the house. I have a very small kitchen. It is not our home, we're renting. So adding an additional anything, it, we can't be adding on. <clears throat> but what we can do is use the space that we have. And I think that is one of the things that I'm gonna uh, preface right from the beginning. If you want a fully stocked pantry slash stockpile, doesn't matter where you live, how big or small your space is, you work with what you have and you make the best with what you have and you just make it work. Don't complain to yourself don't whine don't get a frustrated don't get overwhelmed just say i'm gonna do it and that's it so a fully stocked pantry slash pot stockpile what is it how does it benefit you <clears throat> and how do you get started what is it it would be something that you want to make dinner you want to you, you want to make any meal you can open the doors in a sense might be several doors but you would open up your stockpile and pantry and look in there and you have everything that you need at your fingertips. And that sounds great, doesn't it? Sounds like a win-win, like the perfect, this is the perfect situation. It is, it is the perfect situation. We're gonna jump back to that in a moment. Um, how do you get started and what's included and all of this? You get started by one can at a, at a time. Now, if you don't have a stockpile, if you don't have a pantry started, it's a good thing to have. I'm not gonna go into um, being a prepper or anything like that because that's a whole nother level and that's a whole nother subject. But a basic full pantry and stockpile. You wanna have things in your home for why, why would you want a full pantry? <clears throat> number one, in case of emergencies, I wouldn't say number one, but we'll just call it number one for now. There could be an emergency of any type. You get sick, you get laid off, there could be a storm, um, <clears throat> you just can't, your car breaks down, you can't get out of the house, whatever the case might be, there is something that has come up and disrupted your life and all of a sudden you need to have a resource for food. Maybe getting out to a restaurant or getting takeout is not available to you budget wise, um, distance wise, you might not have a place to, you know, a, a way to get there. You can do DoorDash and Grubhub and all the rest. We've done that, we've done DoorDash, we've done Grubhub. We got introduced to that and we love it, absolutely love it, but we're talking. So if that's in your budget and you use that, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You set your budget the way you want it, but if you're talking, living a little bit more frugally, trying to cut back, and you know what? Just trying to make ends meet these days can be a, def a definite, tough place to be. So if you have a fully stocked pantry and stockpile, you can open the doors and make a meal, whatever it might be. How do you get started? We just said one can at a time. This is not something that's going to happen today. Unless you have a lot of money that you can run out to the store and buy everything you want, you can get started. Should you be panicked if you haven't started it? Should you be really overwhelmed and upset about it? Absolutely not. Today is a good 
good day to start it. If you haven't started it, you haven't started it. That's all there is to it. You can't replace items from the past because you never had them. So make a point of today. I'm going to start today. Every time I grocery shop or go out once a week and pick up these items, however you shop, however you get your groceries, whether they're delivered, you pick them up, whatever the case is, you want to keep adding a few items. A fully stocked pantry though would be something that at any point you can open the doors and create a meal. It has taken me years to get it to the point it is at. We have gone through seasons. I've had a great stockpile pantry. Something has happened and we've had to eat down our, our pantry and stockpile for whatever reason. And then we only had a few things left. Okay, that's, that's what it's there for. You wanna always try and replenish it as you can. But we've been hit with hard times sometimes where I was just glad and blessed that I had provisions in the home to feed the family. We ate it down and then when we could, we rebuilt it. I showed you a couple of clips. I have a fully stocked pantry of spices. I have a fully stocked pantry of baking items. I have a fully stocked pantry of pasta and anything pasta related, tomato sauce, pizza sauce, uh, cans of tomatoes, all of that. I have a fully stocked pantry of extras, side dishes, couscous, rice, instant potatoes, scallop potatoes, of canned goods, canned vegetables, canned fruit, canned items for breakfast. We have a fully stocked pantry of items for breakfast. Instant oatmeal, regular oatmeal, grits, cold cereal, a variety of hot cereals. We have a fully stocked pantry of extras. Um, shelf stable milk. I'm trying to think of some of the other things. Just other maybe oddity things that your, your family, specialty things that for your family are important to you. Macaroni and cheese and ramen noodles are a big deal to my son. So we have a, a fully stocked pantry of those items. Um, you just decide what works for your family, what's best for your family but you want to break this down into the very, um, a very detailed list of categories, spices and baking and so on and so forth. This should then continue on past just food items. I did a video on a fully stocked home and life. You might wanna go back and check that out. A fully stocked home should also be there for you in times of trouble, in times of emergency, in times of tough times, that you have enough cleaning products to get you through, that you have paper towels and toilet paper and tissues, that you have tin foil and plastic wrap and all of that, that you have pens and pencils and envelopes and you have writing paper. I know that might sound silly, but many people don't know how to get back to the basics of, yeah, I don't have those things in my house. When I want to do a project in our home, whether that project is try a new recipe, bake something, cook something. I have all those items and those provisions in my kitchen. I'm well stocked. If I want to write some thank you notes or write some encouraging notes, I have thank you notes and I have cards and I have paper and pens available in my home. I don't have to leave my home. I've stocked up on those things. I wanna do some spring cleaning. I wanna you know, get down and dirty and scrub that floor and shampoo the carpet or dust or whatever. I have a fully stocked um, I, I, cleaning items. It, you know, if you're into gardening, you wanna make sure you have your seeds and the tools that you need and the potting soils that you need and so on and so forth. Now we're not talking you're starting a new project and you need to you know, come up with, well, I wanna start crocheting and I don't have any yarn. Okay, well then you work on that you work on your hobbies, but the things on a regular basis to live life in your home, what do you need to make it a fully stocked home and a fully stocked pantry? I'm going to encourage you, we're gonna be doing some mini series of things to do with a fully stocked pantry and stockpile, getting back to the basics, getting down to the, you know, Pantry 101, I've had a lot of people reach out to me. They've never started a pantry. They don't know where to start. They don't know how to start. What do I include? I think that's one of the things that I have struggled with over the years of doing this, whether I, when I started, 
when I was newly married, I had no idea what to do. And even over the years, if you are accustomed to working outside the home and grabbing a bite to eat, you know, hitting the fast food a couple nights a week and eating out or whatever. And a lot of people are used to that lifestyle because things were a lot easier a few years ago to do that. And then life has changed. So people are starting to come home again and wanting to have meals on the table. But, oh, I don't have this. And, oh, I don't have that. And, I, I you know, people are overwhelmed with how do I stock up? And then people stock up on just cans of soup and, and maybe a couple of things of this and a couple of things of that, but things don't quite match. And how do I make this happen? So we're going to spend some time talking together and I'm going to show you different uh, tips and I'm going to have some principles for you and uh, some other items that we're just going to walk through this together. For those of you that, you know, there, you could be living in an RV. I have some viewers that do live in an RV. I have people that live in an apartment. I have people that live in studios. I have people, I'm sure, I don't know for a fact, but li live in larger homes. Just because you live in a larger home doesn't mean you want to have a pantry stockpile that's the size of another room. So, and you might be one person, you might be a family of 10 or 12. So it all depends on the size of your family, the size of your budget, the size of your space. But bottom line is no matter how big your family or how small your family, you want provisions in your home that at any point you can create a meal that's yummy and delicious for you and your family with the provisions that you have in your home and you're not constantly going, I got to run out and get that. Oh, I have to go pick this up. You don't want to have to have that. So I'm going to close it out here. I'm glad you came over tonight. Leave me a comment if you feel that you have a fully stocked pantry and I'd love to hear from you or are you in the process of building onto that? We'll come back another time with some more details. We're going to break this down, like I said, in a mini series. We'll be talking about it over in the next several weeks, going over some of that along with some other great videos. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, I'll catch you all on the next video.